When I dance, I feel free. When I dance, I feel like a warrior. When I dance, I feel like I feel like I'm in heaven. A friend of mine, we were very close together and we were at the same school together. So she came to my house after school saying that to me that there were dance classes happening near where we were, we were staying in Kukuletu. And she said to me, let's go and try out these classes. And I said, what is it? Dance class? What dance? She said to me, it's a Pali class. When I went back to my, to my, to my grandmother, so I was telling her that, hey, Granny, I went to this Pali class. But I must tell you, it was a very difficult class. And I told her that I am never, ever going back to that class again. So my granny said to me, no, my child, I think you should go back again. And maybe this ballet thing will make you somebody one day. Well, I think having been a professional dancer all my life, I was a professional well, principal dancer with the ballet company for 23 years, and it always worried me very much that there were no black dancers. And that was really my motivation for creating an organization like this. It really upset me. I love children. And it was my kind of mission to create a space and a place for children in these disadvantaged areas to have a proper dance training. We've really become more than just dance teachers. We become parents, really, to all of our children that we teach. And the children rely so much on us. It really is a lifeline for these students. At the age of 12, my, my father died, 30, 11 months after my mother died as well. Um, I have three brothers. Bradford, the one I'm living with, immediately he had the responsibility to take care of me. My 13-year-old son, I mean, he does, he's not even married yet, but he has to take care of me. I showed no emotion towards losing my parents for the first year. I was quite isolated. I also used dance to, you know, to release the pressure of what is actually going on in my life. Um, uh, through hip hop, I would act out because hip hop is a genre where you're actually in people's faces and you're doing your thing, you're showing attitude, and that's, that's why it came so easily to me and it became so natural for me to do. And that's why it was kind of hard for me to go to ballet in contemporary because it seemed so, so gentle. And that's probably what I needed in my life as well. Oh, there are a lot of social issues that these kids, they face. When they are here doing a dance class, you might think they are strong because this is what they want, they do what they love. But the reality is there. Some of the kids do not have mothers, they do not have fathers. They come from school and there's nothing to eat at home and they still have to go out and dance. Dance for All, unlike any other dance school in the world, has to basically subsidise all our students. So that means their dance training, paying for the teacher, paying for the transport, sometimes paying for food, the, the togs they wear, the shoes, the tights, all of those things we have to subsidise. Staff go out every afternoon at 2.30. We have a driver called Danny, and Danny takes the teaching staff to Langa, to Nyanga, to Kugaletu, to Kalicha, and the teaching staff work in either classrooms, school classrooms, moving desks and chairs and tables. And it's not about just going out and having great fun and teaching and walking away. It's, it's a lot more than that. And it takes a very special kind of teacher and staff to be able to get together to do this kind of work because it's not easy and it's always very traumatic sometimes and it, it tears at your heartstrings sometimes because we cannot lose sight of the children because without this they, they have very little. We created a specialised dance training program where we have another driver that goes out every afternoon after school at 2.30 and he collects students from all these areas that we auditioned and they come into this beautiful studio. So they work in the right environment and those students are the ones that really are more interested and more serious about their training. And that's the beauty about Dance Rule, because it really is for anybody, any shape, any colour, any creed. As a teacher, you smile as well, because there are a lot of changes the kids also got from Dance for All. Confidence is one of them. Discipline is one of them. And we have so many successful stories 
of the, 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 the kids that we have taught. We have students that are not students now anymore, but ex-students that come from Dance for All that in, are in different uh, professional companies. It's so rewarding as well because you think back where that child comes from. You think that I have held those hands, those feet, trying to teach them. It actually gives us a, bro a broader picture of what you can become in the future. Some of us won't become dancers, but you can be someone who can spread, spread the word and who can help others because we've received love and support from Dance for All. We are, we are all working towards one thing. We are all working towards the success, not only of one dancer, but if I reach, have a successful career, it paves the way for so many other young dancers that are going to be following. It's such a good testimony for them and someone to look up to. I hope my story and what I do can uplift them and then they will realize that there's a greater future for them. For us, Dance for All has given us an education, you know. Because for me, I went to UCT School of Dance and I studied. So, as you know, education, because education is the key for life. You know, once you've got it, no one will ever take that away from you. It's there, it's yours. I would always hear about Cape Academy of Performing Arts. So Philip spoke to me one day and he asked me if I'm interested in having an audition. And I didn't have an answer to him when he asked me at first. I went home and I thought about it. And I realized, okay, it all comes down to this. I got a scholarship for a three-year program to be trained in not only dance, but in drama and in learning stagecraft and also singing, how to use my voice. And that's amazing because I really am curious about where I'm going to end up and what I'm going to be end, end up doing. Life is rough and tough and it's not easy and I'm always amazed at the resilience of our students because they just have the strength of character. That for me is the absolute beauty, it's that raw energy that you find in the communities that we teach and then suddenly the sophistication because of the training and that discipline and suddenly these beautiful rough diamonds become this beautiful polished stone to see how that growth and the development happens over all the years and how they start you know, walking proudly and have the confidence to stand up in front of an audience and perform. I think the legacy is, it's about against all odds. This organization that has grown out of the roots of those ghettos has students that are dancing all over the world, that it is possible no matter where you come from to do something with your life and what a beautiful thing to do. Ooh.